I'm going to cover how to play some sound effects, sound effects that you might use in a computer game, short ones. But let's get a sound sample before we start. If you type in free sounds, royalty free sounds in Google, you'll find a lot of sounds out there that you can use for free. I'm going to use this one here called Coin One Wav. If you use the free sound website, if you look at the bottom right of each sound, you'll see a license. It's a good idea to check this. If I check this one, there is no restriction on its usage. I can copy, modify, distribute, even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. I don't have to reference this guy, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So, Sound Ninja, and here's Coin1 Wav Sound. Other sounds may have different licensing agreements. They're still free, but you'll have to list their names and locations somewhere in your app. Now, when you download this, it's a WAV file. WAVs are huge, and you might be tempted after downloading to convert it to an MP3 so it takes up less space, but you shouldn't do that, and here's why. Take a look at the MP3 royalty fees. If your game or application has more than 5,000 copies, the MP3 royalty owners have every right to come after you for $2,500 per title. Do not touch MP3s. So what do you use if you can't use MP3s? You can use the OGG file format and converting from a WAV to an OGG is simple. I recommend a, pro a free program called Audacity. This is what this game coin sound can be opened in. And you can convert anything to anything else. So export and straight at the bottom you have all these lists. But I've done all that so I'm gonna quickly close out of this. So here's our game coin sound effect. Since this is our first step into the world of making sounds, we don't have a raw folder in our resource directory. So we'll go into our resource directory, we'll right click, hit new Android resource directory, and our resource type is raw. Hit OK. Just uh, minimize and maximize that. Here's our raw folder. There is nothing in there at the moment. If you want an in-depth tutorial on where to find your resource folder, look back on tutorial 18. I've navigated to it off screen. You'll find your raw directory. If you open that, there is nothing there. So we'll take our game coin, copy it and paste it into our raw directory. If we take a look at our raw directory, we now have a game coin sound. To play the sound, we need some sort of action on our app to activate it. I've created a new button called button coin sound. And to create a button and do the detection of a button click and starting off an action, you can catch up on that on tutorials 15, 16, and 17. So how do you play a sound? A couple of ways to do this, but for simple sound effects, it's recommended to use something called a sound pool. I strongly recommend looking up the Android reference and having a read of what a sound pool does. I'll cover exactly what you need to get up and running, but it's nice to know a bit about the background. We're going to need to create a sound pool object to hold our sounds. And that's simple, sound pool, and we'll name it sound pool. But we need to build a sound pool. So there is something called a sound pool builder. So we'll need one of those as well. And we'll call that object a sound pool builder. Now a sound pool has certain properties that you can set. Attributes, audio attributes. So it, we're gonna have to create an object that handles that. Audio attributes, and we'll just call that attributes. But these audio attributes also need to be built. So they also have an, a builder. And we'll call that the attributes builder. 
And our final declaration is an ID value, something we can identify the noise we're loading in. So I'll just say an integer labeled sound ID coin. I've declared these at the top of the class so that they're all available by all of the member classes. We're going to build our attributes and our sound pool in the onCreate method. If you remember, when the activity is launched, and this is our main activity, the first method seen is the onCreate, and this is where we want to set up all of our sounds. So we have to build the attributes first. For the moment, ignore these red error lines. There's a version control issue, depending on which type of API level you're targeting, you need to use different codes, but I'll cover that later. For now, I just want to make sure you can get up and running and run your first sound. So we take our attributes builder and we say we want a new attributes builder. So we create an attributes builder and we assign it to our attributes builder object reference. We then set, use a member method called set usage to say the attribute usage is game usage and the content type is sonification. And the final step of the attributes builder is to build the attributes and then we assign it to our attributes. So now we have a description of what we want our sound pool to be. So we next have to build our sound pool. So we create a new sound pool builder. We then set the audio attributes to the attributes values we've just created above. And then the final step is to run the build method on our sound pool builder to give us our sound pool. Now we have the sound pool, we need to start filling it up with some sounds. And each time you add a sound to the sound pool, it returns the ID of the sound. And we're going to use that integer value we created to store it. So that was sound ID coin. And to load our sound resource, we just type in sound pool. We access its member method load. We tap in the activity context and then we reference off and then we reference our sound resource and we do that in the same way as we've done for our image resources so it's resource our raw directory and game coin and the final argument is the priority and we're just going to give it a default value of one you may have many different sounds in your game and you might want to assign each one a different priority depending on what action is happening in your application. So now we've loaded our sound effect, we want to play it. Here's our button event. And inside, to play a sound, you just reference your sound pool. My one's called sound pool. You access the member method play. And the first argument is the sound ID of the sound you want to play. And that's sound ID coin. And the rest of the arguments, if you look at the documentation, we've got two for the left volume and right volume, and I've set them to one for maximum, the priority of the stream, an argument for looping your sound effect, so zero for no loop if you want to play it just once, and a playback rate, so one for normal playback, and you can double it or halve it, and the range is between a half and two. And that's how you set up and play a sound. Let's see it in action. And here is our splash screen. And just hunting around for the button. There's the button I created, it's called coin up. And if I tap it, it should make a coin up sound. Excellent. That's all I do in this tutorial. You now know how to run simple sound effects. Just one more thing. I forgot to mention that it's good practice to shut down your sound pool. If you look at the activity life cycle, when, where would you do that? I would do it on the on pause method. It's the first method on the way down to exiting and destroying your activity. So if we find our on pause, we can tap in sound pool and release. That's it. Thanks for watching.